When Mann filmed the first moving images, he turned the camera on something deeply familiar, a companion that had been by his side for thousands of years. And when he built ships and roads and cities, they did the work side by side. Now their work together is mostly forgotten, and only a rare few of us still carry forward that ancient bond. Every time I go to the park, I feel like I go first time because the park is a beautiful composition. Shade and the trees and the leaves and the snow. Our society, we have forgotten so much about horses. It's very, very beautiful. We used to all know about horses and the animal rights people have been able to exploit that. We are going to quickly and aggressively move to make horse carriages no longer a part of the landscape in New York City. Horses built New York. Central Park was designed to be seen from the back of the carriage. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. There are no horse torturing monsters in this business. And I'm here and always have been here because of my love for horses. And so it is that 59th Street has become a dividing line between who we were and who we want to be between ideas just arriving and a tradition that predates Abraham Lincoln's presidency. So let's just take a moment and consider this next step, before a line is crossed, before we lose our way. The thing that drives me batty is the idea that banning the carriage horses is some sort of liberal progressive agenda. The reality is that the real progress that's being made here is to honor our traditions, to honor our traditions from Italy and Ireland and other horse cultures. I'm from Mexico City. My grandma used to have a farm back in Mexico, outside Mexico City. I used to work with my grandma with the horses. South America, I was born and raised in Brazil, uh, which is on the south, close to Argentina and Uruguay. That's the part of the country have the gauchos. I grew up on a kibbutz. I was born in a kibbutz in Israel, working with the horses in a collective farming before the tractor came in. Uh, my dad was third generation blacksmith. Their great grandfather actually built the roads in his town in Ireland with horses and they were the town blacksmiths. It's not just a little job, it's, it's a tradition. My horse name is Rebecca. I fall in love with her in day one. The first day that I drove her in Pennsylvania, I knew that this is my baby. We are the living link to the history of the horse in New York City. And in places that are progressive, the horses are coming back. In Europe, they're using them for recycling, to water municipal gardens. The horses are coming back at a time when the mayor of New York sounds so terribly retrograde. We are going to get rid of the horse carriages, period. They're not humane. It's over. It hurts. It hurts and it's infuriating. Uh, depending on who's saying it and what kind of mood you're in, you could cry or you could scream. Why should I mistreat my horse? What would be the reason to do that? You know, it gives me so much back in terms of uh, happiness. Love all the cookies. It is a very, very difficult thing for our children to field reading the newspapers, hearing stories on television about their parents being horse abusers. By now, most people have heard that the New York City carriage horses are overseen by five agencies and 144 pages of regulation. That they can't work if it's too hot or too cold. That they get a five-week vacation and mandatory health care. So the question becomes, can a horse take the same risks that joggers and cyclists take in a city? And if we decide that they cannot, what becomes of cultures where this is not a stroll in the park, but a deeply held religious freedom? Do I ever think that it's going to be an issue as to whether you can use a horse to pull a carriage in Lancaster? Uh, I think that'll happen right after hell freezes over. Lancaster County is also home to the New Holland Horse Auction, the largest in the East. The New York carriage horses have a guaranteed retirement in green pastures, but many horses are not so lucky. 
and at the auction, they face the real prospect of sale for meat. Over 100,000 horses a year in North America are slaughtered. In a good year, the Mount Hope Horse Rescue is able to save about a dozen. How long does it take to place a horse? Uh, it could take anywhere from three months to two years. Come on, boy, go to feed you, come on. There's a lot of people can't afford the horses anymore, so they take them to the auction. When we stopped working with horses on a daily basis, horses became luxury items. And when they're luxury items, when bad things happen to you in your life, that means they're disposable. The animal, the horse, or, or the donkey, or whatever, that does not have a job is the one that's in, in jeopardy. And what about the jeopardy for people losing their livelihoods? Some carriage drivers work their way up for many years to buy a horse and a carriage and a medallion, or had it handed down through generations. Should the government be able to shut down a legal, thriving, regulated business, rendering the skills and property of workers to little or no value? If you pull me out of business, how are you going to pay my school? And how are you going to support my kids? i got to pay bills. It's a lot of guys, they have a families. It's not only me. On a low level, uh, approximately 500 families will be affected. I'm going to be 45 years old, this is all I've ever done. My colleagues are exactly in the same boat. They're in the prime years of their life in terms of raising a family, but not in terms of being um, reacquainted with another job. How are you, sir? Can I ask you a question? How can you claim that the horse carriage industry are abusing the animals when you've never even set foot in the stable to see for yourself? Real estate. It's, to me, too much of a coincidence that uh, this campaign against us is to a large extent funded by real estate interest and backed by real estate interest. The great white elephant in the room, four prime locations on the west side of New York that realtors must be salivating to get their hands on. A three-story building right now that's used as a carriage stable that provides great tradition and legacy isn't as profitable to some people that would want to put a 50-story building up and as much as 30 or 40 million dollars for an apartment. I was disappointed that Mayor de Blasio didn't accept my invitation to tour the stables with me. But the stable doors remain open to any officials who want to come over and see for themselves why every veterinarian who has seen the stables over the years have given it their stamp of approval. A lot of the misconceptions grow out of one simple little thing, and I've always said this, a content, relaxed horse at rest will stand with a lowered head. He'll cock a back leg and he will lower his head. To the average non-horse person, it may look as if the horse is tired or sad. We often hear that. For a horse to relax like that, that is exactly what we look for in a horse. We only keep horses that wants to be here and comfortable to be in New York. It's like people, if people are not comfortable to be in New York, then they should be on a farm. I will say to the mayor, please, don't let the people lose job. Don't let the horse go. If Central Park is the heart of New York City, then the carriage horses are the beating of that heart. 62% of the New Yorkers do not want the horses to leave. They want the horses to be here. And all along, we, we felt that it was really the majority. But who does not want the horses in Central Park? Nobody has the right to take it away, to take the horses away from the park and to take the horses away from the people in the park. This is currently a story without an ending and one in which we each play a part. Questions linger without an answer. How do we define abuse? Which animals need saving? How much do we care for our fellow man? Can we find a place for this cherished history? I think love, a horse, is when you come and you spend a time with a horse. If you care so much about carriage horses and horse welfare, then take a carriage ride. There's no better place to contemplate these questions than Central Park. Just you, the park, a horse, this guy. Eventually everybody comes for a carriage ride. For more information, 
please go to savenychorsecarriages.com. <laughs>